Greetings hobbyists, this is Artisans of Vool. And in this video we're having a look at a sculpting trick that will give you a little bit more control about where you draw with your brushes. So I've got a cube here and we're gonna go into sculpt mode just to demonstrate this. I've got my draw brush and you'll notice nothing is masked, but I only want to draw on the top surface. I don't want my brush to accidentally go down the sides. And with the way that I've got this set up, yep, there we go, it just stops at that top surface, there we go, stop as soon as we get to the edge. Now you can see there's no mask applied here. In fact, actually, I could just come here and do the same thing and we've got exactly the same effect. Any side I start on, we won't go on to another edge, which is a really useful feature if you want to keep some clean surfaces. Okay, so how am I achieving this without a mask? So I've got a new cube here and let's just set this up. So I'm going to go into sculpt mode. I'm going to R to get this nice and small on the remesh and that will do and control and R. So we can now come and draw on our surface. So there, and you'll see it goes straight from one side to the other. We're not stopped at the side. So how are we going to fix this? Well, actually I kind of lied. This is a mask, it's just a mask that you can't see and it's a mask that will swap as soon as you start drawing another surface. We can get to this in two ways. The first way we can press the end panel, we can come to advanced in the tool section and we've got this option for auto mask. And that's what this is. It's a mask that we don't have to apply, Blender just starts doing it as we start drawing. Now I'm just gonna press N, the other way we can get here is up here which has our also mask and this is what's called an area normal mask now at the moment we've got a limit of 20 degrees what that means is that when i start drawing whenever we've got a face that isn't within 20 degrees of the normal of this top surface or the many top surfaces because we've got lots of different faces here it stops us drawing and again as soon as you get onto another one it has the same effect now, what's really nice about this, if we just come down and get the smooth brush and we'll keep that on the same thing, is this will work for multiple different brushes. It's not always perfect. The smooth brush is a little bit, sort of has a slight effect here. I do quite like this in combination with the plateau brush where we can almost get this back to the cube that it originally was each time we start on a side. So this has a lot of really useful functionality to allow us to just affect one side or draw on one side of an object, maybe a pouch or something like that, and not accidentally go onto the others. So there we go, we've got our cube pretty close to back to the way it was. I will say you're very unlikely to get this perfect. And interestingly, this will work with pretty much any brush. So for example, if I had, I don't know, some stitching, I've got some stitching brushes set up here. And this means that I'm not gonna accidentally go onto a side that I don't want to. Probably need to R and up this if I want this stitching brush to work very nicely. There we go. Okay, so I can't accidentally go over to a different edge. If I turn this off, I can accidentally go onto a different edge and it's gonna mess this up on that edge. So it's really handy, especially with our different brushes. Also, I've only got some bullet holes here, but if I set this up for this one as well, it does mean that if I do this, we stop going onto other edges. Though we are likely to have a very, very thin edge here that might cause us some problems. But again, if we've got some iconography or something that's raised, let's just do this the opposite way around, this means that we can just have something go to the edge and not go any further. Really, really handy stuff. The final place where I'll mention this will work is it will work with masking. So say I did actually want to do something where I wanted to make sure it didn't go onto the side, I could just really quickly mask everything off here and only go up to that top edge. Obviously there are other ways of masking as well, but this just gives us such a quick way of setting things up without having to worry about it. Now there are other auto masks as well. For example, face sets is a really handy one to use. I have shown that briefly before, but also cavity it appears to be quite nice. I've just been playing around with this and that means that we can control if it works in high or low points. 
I really want to thank Vince for this. I've been playing around with this today and I hadn't really used it very much. But Vince contributes to the channel as being part of the Patreon and with that he's part of the Patreon Discord and put it up as a comment which was really, really handy and also shared a video showing it off. If you are interested in supporting the channel and also being part of that Discord community that can share tips and you can ask for additional support, there's a link in the description and I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button, it helps to share it around and it's a nice way that costs you nothing to support the channel and help it grow. Hope to see you in the next video and have a great day.